So I'm going to set this up into auto tip off to stockpile mode and I'm going to show you how you can load up to a, t a target of 10 tons. Let's go. So in this case, I know I'm going to need more than one bucket. So I'm just going to go ahead and deliver this bucket right on up to my target. I'm not even going to concern myself with weighing it because I want to be as efficient as I possible throughout my day. Get my work done, go home, see my favorite. All right, so I'm approaching my target. See, I haven't had any issues um, on the display now. Take a look at that display. I've got zero, but now as I pass up through my weigh range, I am actually weighing. And as I approach it, I've got that green box uh, precision, accurate weigh confirmation. I've got six and a half tons, and I'm going to go ahead and dump this right into that uh, basically my makeshift hopper. So, whatever your uh, target area is. And you can see I've got confirmation here now that I did uh, latch that material to the truck and that's confirmed by these uh, asterisks. So all of that is locked in. I can no longer make any adjustments to that six and a half tons, but that's fine because I just want it in the truck at this point, right? I'm gonna give myself a shot at thinking that I might have got it. I got a bucket load, I'm racked back. I'm going to go ahead and run up my RPMs and give a smooth, steady lift out on that pile. And here's an example of our low level weigh option. You can see that fairly low in my lift range, uh, I already have an estimated weight. In this case, it says 6.0 tons. And if I carry this over to my truck, I'll have 12 and a half tons with two passes on it if I carry it there. However, I know that I, want, I only want 10. So at this point in time, I'm going to back out of the pile just slightly and I'm going to start tipping material and watch what happens when I tip. I'm tracking that bucket sensor. Oh, I had a slight rise because that material is now further away. It feels heavier even though it's the same load. And now as material starts to fall off, you will see this decrease as well as the delivered tonnage plan payload is going to decrease as well because I'm adding what's remaining in my bucket to the previous load that was on there. And when I'm close to my 10 ton target that I was wanting, I'm gonna back up here slightly. Notice you don't even lose your material information when you are in reverse. I'm gonna shoot for about just over 10 ton, my target. And when I'm there, I'm gonna go ahead and rack back. And you can see, once I'm racked back, I'm right on my target. I'm gonna carry this back on up. As I'm moving, you can see that uh, we're constantly measuring that hydraulic pressure and that lift circuit. So you will see some information there, but as you approach your final destination, you typically always pass through that weigh range. You get that world-class accurate weight right back on the screen, a confirmation of if you dump it in, you're gonna have, in this case, 9.9. .9. That's under my target range. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this run. So watch, as I start to tip this material, this will continue to meter off because it doesn't know if I'm just adjusting my load or not. So I wanna dump this far enough such that I see these numbers go to that latched three displays and now I know I've delivered that full last bucket to that truck. Back away, I'm gonna go back around to my uh, stockpile. And in this case, since I know I'm done with this, I can basically press this store button and that whole display resets right back to zero. I'm ready for my next truck. Very efficient, keeps me moving. Um, I don't have to sit and uh, I can still use my hands for all my controls that I need.